True or false, wrist pain in gaming is caused by carpal tunnel syndrome. We're going to use science and anatomy to answer this question. This is Esports Mythbusters. But first, let's head to the streets and see what random people think about this question. We have a question. Yes, sir. Is it, uh, is it carpal tunnel? I don't know. Just as I suspected. The myth is that when we have wrist pain as gamers, it is carpal tunnel syndrome. This is often due to the fact that the first thing we see on Dr. Google is a bunch of articles discussing carpal tunnel syndrome. But not only that, when many of us see physicians in person, they spend five minutes barely understanding your case and what might be the contributing factors to pain and slap the carpal tunnel syndrome diagnosis on it. And unfortunately, what comes along with this is the prescription of rest, medication, and bracing. In order to determine whether it is actually carpal tunnel syndrome, we need to first look at the anatomy and physiology of the condition itself. We've all definitely heard of carpal tunnel syndrome, but what is it? The carpal tunnel is an anatomical location in your body. There's a small tunnel in your wrist, whose borders are comprised of bones and ligaments. Within this tunnel are nine tendons that flex your fingers, as well as the median nerve which carries signals to and from the brain so that you can control your thumb, certain muscles in the hand and forearm, and feel things in this half of the hand. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when the median nerve becomes irritated due to the limited space in this tunnel. This is often caused by increased pressure on the nerve as a result of the positions and movements we perform on a regular basis. Local swelling from tendons is often a cause of pressure on the nerve, leading to the nerve symptom. Other common causes include vibration, and positions of the wrist which increase pressure in the tunnel, leading to altered blood flow in and around the nerve. For us gamers, that might mean repetitive WASD movements and mouse clicking or flicking. What you might feel in the early stages are common nerve symptoms, numbness, burning, and tingling in this region. Often, is it, a, it is accompanied by pain in the same area, occasionally extending that pain up into the forearm. Eventually, it can cause some weakness in the hand, difficulty with fine motor activities, and in the most extreme cases, atrophy or wasting away of the thumb muscles. Carpal tunnel syndrome is diagnosed primarily through a comprehensive clinical assessment. This often requires strength testing, compression testing, sensation testing, and special clinical tests. Electrophysiological testing and ultrasound are often used to assist in the diagnosis and to guide decision-making on appropriate interventions. We're here on the street today talking about how carpal tunnel is ravaging the gaming world. Wait, what's this? It's not carpal tunnel? This changes everything! What's up gamers, Dr. Elliot aka 1HP Medic here and today we are going to be busting the myth that carpal tunnel is the leading cause of pain in gamers. Let's go. So what exactly do we know about competitive gamers? Well, they spend dozens of hours playing every day, and those dozens of hours multiplied by hundreds of actions per minute equals hundreds of thousands of actions per minute per day. So what does that lead to? Well, that causes tendons to become thickened, inflamed, and ultimately painful. So all of that isn't to say that gamers can't suffer from carpal tunnel, because they absolutely can. It's just not our first thought as professionals. And thickened tendons can definitely lead to carpal tunnel. But usually when gamers start to complain about pain, the problem is coming from the tendons, and it hasn't yet affected the nerves in that carpal tunnel space that causes the things like numbness and tingling in the fingers, and pain that starts here and moves this way. Hey, hey, ho, ho, carpal tunnel's gotta go! Hey, hey, ho, ho, carpal tunnel's gotta go! It's your tendons! Your tendons! It's your tendons! It's your tendons! It's your tendons! So let's talk about some mismatches we're gonna use to officially bust this myth. Mismatch number one. Carpal tunnel symptoms don't match the survey data that we've got on gamers. When we surveyed almost 300 gamers about their health and wellness concerns, only one response mentioned numbness and tingling. And it wasn't even in the right finger. That's half as many responses as people that just called us the N-word. Do better, guys. Do better. Seriously. Mismatch number two. The research shows that it's more likely the tendons. The old school way of thinking about carpal tunnel was that the vibrations from repeated movements would skip affecting the tendons in the area and directly affect the nerve. As more modern research has been performed, it seems more likely that the cause of carpal tunnel syndrome first starts with the tendons becoming thickened due to the repetitive use, and then the compression of the nerve structures that run through that carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel syndrome is not as common as we think, and our belief of it being the true diagnosis, or the underlying cause of most wrist pain in gaming, 
is again influenced by Google and by an inadequate understanding of what strains gaming places on the hand by physicians. Based on a recent literature review, it was found that in the general population, at least 3.8% of people who complain of aching, unresponsiveness, and itchy feelings in their hands have carpal tunnel syndrome. There is less research available specifically on gaming populations, but we can look at analogous groups, like musicians and military aviators who perform similar repetitive motions. In those groups, it was found that between 1 and 3.5% of military aviators had carpal tunnel syndrome, while up to 16% of musicians reporting these symptoms uh, were diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome accurately. So even for those who have symptoms, there are quite a few other diagnoses we should consider before making the decision of, yup, it must be carpal tunnel syndrome. Now I'm not going to completely throw out the idea that vibration can cause blood loss to the nerves, therefore leading to irritation. I'm just saying it's much more likely, given the information that we have, that it's the tendons. Mismatch number three. Our experience as physical therapists working in esports shows that carpal tunnel is not the number one concern for gamers. Almost all of the treatment plans that we develop for gamers with pain include strengthening of the tendons, which means they're repeatedly stressing those tendons that are being used the most while they're gaming to build up the endurance and prevent injury. And we see amazing success rates with this prescription. With all of that said, I think we can say that this myth is successfully busted, but I'm gonna pass it back over to you, Matt, to give your final thoughts. What up, y'all? It's Lil Tunnel in the house, and we're celebrating three years in the number one spot on the charts. You know what it is. It's the number one hit. It is your nerves. Y'all heard it before. It's the pain. It's in your brain. It's in your tunnel. It's the nerves. Yo, yo, Lil Tunnel. What's up? Yo, you, you see this? What's up? Thick tendons. He's number one on the charts right now. Thick tendons? Bruh, he took your spot. Oh, no. All right, guys, that is all. Hope you guys learned a lot from this, and we can safely say that this myth is busted. So anytime anyone asks a question, oh my God, is it carpal tunnel syndrome? You gotta say, nope. And there's actually this video you gotta see because it busts a myth. And the bottom line is that, hey, the symptoms that we've seen in our experience and in some early uh, interview data that we've taken on uh, multiple populations within the gaming community show that it's very unlikely that it is carpal tunnel but something else which is as i've mentioned many many times in this video it is the tendons it is the tendons that are that are most commonly involved in esports in gaming um, and as well the research supports this it is likely that the tendons are involved that cause hypertrophy or the tendons to swell and inflame that leads to this pressure on the nerve. So carpal tunnel syndrome is possible, but it's very likely with the nature of gaming that the tendons involve first. So we always have to treat that before just jumping to the conclusion that it is your median nerve that is involved. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, stretch, drink water, reset your eyes, and exercise. Share this with one person who needs to know about this myth.